Got a girl that compliments my fly And when it goes down, I know she gon' ride I finally got somebody I can call my Music licensing reimagined I got a girl that compliments my fly And when it goes down, I know she gon' ride I finally got somebody I can call mine My one time for the one time Guys, welcome back, welcome back You know, we, we, we real life, we, real life we change What up, Sam? You know what I mean? It's been so, a minute. Yeah, I know. That I mean. <laughs> all right. So it's been a while. You know what I mean? Um, we just been real busy and stuff like that, whatever. But I guess we're gonna um, kind of get some more. You know what I mean? I more videos coming up on soon, whatever. I just gotta stop being lazy, guys. So. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> I got a lot of videos I gotta edit, whatever. So I ain't got nobody to pay to do it. So. <laughs> yeah, there was one day we was gonna record like three, four videos, but he was so busy editing one. Yeah. That. And I still ain't posted that one anyway, so. <laughs> But yeah, so uh, we coming back, whatever. We have um, some advice or, you know what I mean, things that, that happen, um, you know what I mean, with the pregnancy. Yeah, so it's like how to get through labor with no medicine, no epidural. Yep. Um, None of that, you know what I mean? <laughs> that was one of the things, like uh, one, one major thing that we wanted to do. Um, because we didn't want to know complications, you know what I mean, with the, with that, you know what I mean, some people saying, hey, I got spinal fluid still leaking. Yeah, people have like, problems yeah, with their back. Yeah. And I already had problems with my back before. Yeah, and I was so. like, you know what I mean, I ain't got to do it, so you know what I mean. What? <laughs> That's okay, he's saying we, I don't know why you saying we, but. <laughs> you know what I mean, so I was just like, hey, don't do it without no payments. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> you <laughs> but, made it seem easy. <laughs> But yeah, you know, so that's what, um, but she did a good job, whatever, so this is kind of like the things I, I assisted her with, trying to help her, you know what I mean, make it um, as good as possible, whatever, so you can kind of run through some of the steps that we did. So. so number one, the main thing is you have to get your mind right. Like, when I say mind right, that means you have to already be thinking about, I'm not doing the birth without medicine. Yeah. Keep saying that to yourself. Yeah. Like. Convince you yourself. You I can, can do, do it. it. I can yeah. do it. Once you get your mind clear from epidural, like you think of epidural, you're like, uh, I don't want to do that. It's disgusting to you. Yeah. Then you won't even think about it. So you have to get your mind ready for it. Yeah. That really helped me a lot. Yep. So number two was, um, oh, yeah, like, oh, I went to that Lamar's class. Whatever. Yeah. That, that kind of helped me out a lot because you know what I mean? I ain't know, really know too much about, you know what I mean, happen and what the things to, you know, to do, whatever. So I can't, I think that kind of put us on the next level um, yeah. to basically kind of help it. And we're going to kind of go through the labor process at the end, whatever, but we just running down the steps, whatever. But Lamar's class actually does help men. You know what I mean? It helped me out a lot and helped her not to get the pain mask, whatever. So, you know what I mean? Yeah, it just showed like him what to do for me um, in the sense of that. So, three was actually a helpful partner. So, once you learn those, um, whoever it is, it don't have to be your spouse or boyfriend or whatever, but someone, a mom, grandma, somebody, um, a helpful partner does help. Um, it just helps like with the positions that like we learned in Lamaze class and certain things you can do to kind of help ease the pain because um, it is painful but um, it's not as painful when you do certain positions, use certain tools like James he just thought of bringing this uh, uh, massager thing where is it? this massager thing that like helped ease my pain this thing right here, <laughs> hey, this helped out a lot. Whatever, yeah, you know what I mean. So we kind of like, well, we'll we'll talk about it later, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, um, stuff like that. So he thought of it. He brought it with him. It was already in the bag, and he just pulled that thing out. Just pulled that thing out. Pulled that thing out. I was like, yeah, this is it, cause it, you know, it just it was it's that vibrator is very intense, so it kind of. Take, took the intensity off of my labor. I had music. Well, the previous labor, not this one right now. Whatever. Oh, I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah. This is the, yeah. This is Malachi. So we're gonna use the same technique, whatever, on this. On this, this pregnancy, well, yeah. So for so. Solomon, my first um, born. Born. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So number four was two. So she kind of went into that imposition is whatever. And we kind of gonna, you know, what I mean, show somewhere whatever, but it's kind of a little. X-rated, I guess, whatever. So I kind of <laughs> describe it. Show <laughs> some. <laughs> Show yeah. some. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, number five is um, um, like, like listen to your body. Yep. Um, you can listen to the doctor, 
but listen to your body because sometimes when you go there they'll say oh um you're not in labor or you're not ready yet or whatever go home listen to your body you know i it was my first time being in that situation so I just knew by based off the stuff I was hearing, you know, make sure it's like two to three minutes apart. That's how you know you're in labor. So for me, my stuff was very consistent. So I listened to my body. I'm like, okay, I'm in labor right now. And then, you know, I went to the hospital. So just listen to your body and try to stick with it because doctors will try to steer you away from stuff. Yep. yep. So that, like, they actually were trying to send Anisha home, whatever. And like, um, yeah, we, we, we'll get more into the story or whatever, but yeah. So. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, number six is stay calm, keep a level head, whatever. That's what she did a lot. She wasn't really talking that much. And she basically, you know what I mean, she went going crazy on me. You know what I mean, whatever. But it was it was kind of good. Whatever. Only I did one time. Yeah, but it's like, you know what I mean, it wasn't like nothing that was too di like disrespectful or anything. So, because, you know, sometimes, you know what I mean, you, you know, you're in your pain, you're going through your stuff, and you're like, all right, I'm going to go just go crazy on everybody. But it's like, if I'm helping, I'm like, all right, I ain't going to help your ass. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? So I can, you know what I mean, do that, whatever. But, you know what I mean, I understood, like, all right, she wasn't being disrespectful. You know what I mean? She's trying to, you know what I mean, want me to help her. Almost. <laughs> almost. No, he was yeah. good, but then him and the midwife having these conversations about nothing about what I was going through. I think they was talking about some reality show or yeah, whatever reality show. it was. some history, some, some knowledge. What well, I heard all. And I'm like, hello, I'm in pain. Cool. Like, what are you guys doing? So yeah. he almost got cursed out, y'all. Almost. Nah, she don't <laughs> um, Also, in between contractions that break, it actually does help. So take your break. So let's say your contractions are every three minutes. So, I mean, take the break that you can and get ready for the next one. Try not to overwork yourself, overthink, and do all these extra things, and then that contraction hits you when you are already exhausted from doing something else. So try, like, stay calm, you know, relax, and try to um, kind of get through it. Um, like I said, it does hurt, but there's ways to kind of get away from it, distract your brain, listen to music, I don't know, whatever works. Yep, all right, so leave me story, you know what I mean? So, I know you like to talk. <laughs> <laughs> So, all right, it started basically at like 1 o'clock, 1 p.m. in the afternoon. We was outside, uh, I forgot what we were doing. Yeah. I think we was doing gardening or something. And I was like, I gotta sit down. I just kept sitting down because I just felt a lot of pressure. Then when I realized it was like pressure like in my butt area, and I was like, okay, I'm about to go in the house. I don't know what's going on. Cause it was weird, I never had pressure there before. You know, so I came in the house, I laid down, and then I was like, you know what? Let me cook me something. So I cooked me some food or whatever. And I'm like, maybe I'm maybe going into labor, I don't know. Because I felt contractions, but they were very mild. They didn't hurt at all. But it was like consistent. It was like, at first it was like every like 20 minutes. Every 20 minutes, it was this rhythm that kept coming. Then it went down to 10 minutes. Then it went down to seven minutes. Then it, then the the uh, contraction started to get worse. So by 7:30 p.m., I was like, James, it's time to go. It was like two to three minutes. I called the triage, and it was like, yeah, when it's two to three minutes, come in. So I was like, yeah, James, it's time to go. Um, and they was hurting, you know, at that point. So then that's when he came and he did some of the stuff in the Lamaze class. Uh, we drove up there, boom, we got to the hospital. You know what I mean? Uh, we basically, we in the room. I was two centimeters dilated yeah. at that time. Yeah, they was like, hey, she two centimeters. They was like, hey, you know what I mean? She can go home. She ain't gonna have the. She ain't gonna have, have a baby today. Have a baby yeah, today. Like, it might be tomorrow or something. That's why we say don't listen. Oh, listen to your body. Listen, cause Danisha was like, nah, we staying here. We stayed because they were consistent. It was yeah. literally every two minutes. It did not stop. Yeah. So and I remember that's what they said. When it's consistent like that, you know, you are bound to have the baby. So all right, they said okay, you don't have to leave the room right now because they only admit would admit me from at five or six centimeters. Yeah. So they said okay, you can stay. So within like thirty minutes or yeah. something. Something like that. I was at four centimeters. Mm -hmm. They're looking at the chart like, oh no, you could go home. Yep, still trying to send us home. I was home. like, are you kidding me? And we were just like, no, you know what I mean? So uh, she was still like, no, we staying here. And then so basically, they we, kicked me out the room. Yeah, so <laughs> basically, like, hey, you just walk around for like an hour or so, like that, whatever. And you know, don't call all the family members. Hey, yeah, it's gonna be like in a few hours. You don't worry about coming and all that right. type of stuff right now. Right, because listening to the doctor. You know what I mean? And 
And like, so we went, we go down for an hour, we start doing like different positions we learned in the class. So basically one of these positions, like you kind of like get on, on, you know how like you lay, nah, I don't know. No, you got, your booty going to be in the air. No, that's that one, the button on the, with the knees was pushing Oh no, that's, that's just the have, yeah, I'm talking about like to kind of open up your service with, oh. you know, so you basically would get on your knees and kind of do like the, you know what I mean, have your, your butt in the air and kind of. I was going to say the stripper down. pose. Yeah. <laughs> The stripper stretch, y'all, y'all girls know. Put your butt in the air, arch your back. Yeah, yeah, so she was doing that, whatever, I was watching, make sure nobody else was looking at her, doing it, whatever, because I was getting, I would have got jealous. So then, <laughs> so, and, and then also, uh, you know what I mean, oh, well, I can say, like, kind of to release some of the pain, like, I was, like, pushing her knees back, and it was kind of, like, get, uh, releasing some of the pressure when she was sitting down. Yeah, he was on his knees. Yeah, I was on my and knees, I'm, like, and I'm, sitting like, like, pushing, like this, and he's pushing, pushing and it was kind of, like, relieve her from some pain for, like, a... You know, 20, 30 seconds, whatever, and that kind of like give her some energy to keep going and stuff. So we we did that for like an hour. Well, I walked, you know, I walked around for like 30 that. minutes. Yeah, and then the walking like, help, walking help. Yeah, and then like you laying used down. The, the massager. Oh, and I was using the massager, whatever. So I I was using the massager. I was like on my back. using it on her lower back, whatever, like right there. Right. And stuff like that on both of them, and then um. You know what I mean? That she like she enjoyed that a lot and stuff like that, whatever. <laughs> it helped. <laughs> yeah. Enjoyed, but it helped. Yeah, so then after the 30 minute walk, I was like, I gotta sit down because I was losing energy. Remember yeah. I said when you're going through contractions, you do not want to lose energy because it takes so much away from you. Yep. And so then you, you gotta, gotta get relax. For the you gotta have the energy. Right, for the to push, because we're not even at that point. Yeah. So alright. After an hour, I went back upstairs because I was like, I had enough of this. Yep. I was eight centimeters. Yep, eight. And they looked at me like Yep. And I was like, yes, and then my water broke too. As soon as I laid down on the hospital bed, bed uh -huh, my, water my water broke. And, and they were all surprised. And now, you know, because you had a baby at 10 centimeters. Right. right so, you know what I mean? So that now they rushing up to get her into a room. Yep. And, hey, she's about to go. When and I got in that room, stuff. I was 9 centimeters. This yep. took like 15, 20 minutes to get the uh -huh. room ready. 9 centimeters. Yep. So now they were like rushing and hurrying up. And this is the uh, vital whatever too, because if she would have got the epidural yeah. right then and there, would've that would have slowed the pregnancy down and stuff like that. Yeah, whatever so you kind of the epidural slows the pregnancy down yeah. so it's i know some people are like hey i'm still gonna get it but if you do get it try to get it like late later so you won't be in labor for so long because you was in labor like what four or five hours how many hours you was in labor now? yeah so you have early labor early labor is the one that doesn't really hurt yeah um so i was in labor from like eight it's about seven no it was seven hours seven hours okay but it was, it was like first from time. eight to two yeah, so it's like our first, I don't think it was that long, whatever. You may be like five or six or something. Well, no, it took me an hour to push. Yeah. So eight to like one, mm -hmm. it was like that. I wasn't labor that long. Um, but yeah, so then I got into the room. Now, I already said I didn't want medicine, but when I hit that nine centimeter, y'all, I was like, wait, I was lying. So I asked the, um, the midwife, I said, hey, so you, right here, this, yeah. this is the product of what we're talking yeah. about. Come here. <laughs> you want to be in? <laughs> so I said, hey, um, what's that medicine, you guys? Because they were trying to, you know, teach me about all the medicines and stuff like that yeah. before. And I was like, no, I don't want it. No, I don't want it. But I asked her at the ninth centimeter because I was like, this got, we went from 100 to 1,000. So I was like, what was that medicine you said again? Yeah. And she told me, and I said, no, what was the side effects? So when she told me the side effects, it scared me. And I was like, nope, I'm good. And then I just like, you know, held on to the bar and it was crazy. But that, that, I was like, don't do it, don't do it. You know? <laughs> but that pain only yeah. lasted like 10 minutes. So yeah. 10 minutes of like intense contractions. But 10 minutes was doable. Yeah. And then it was time for me to push. Now, to me, the push was the hardest part of the whole entire thing. Yeah. It took me an hour to figure it out. Yeah. Like, it, it took me so long that the doctors left and said to the, um, the nurse aide, let me know when she's ready. Yeah. And then when I still took too long, it was all right. It's, it's been an hour, let's go. Yeah. The baby's there. Uh -huh. And, and um, when she did start pushing, whatever, one thing that kind of messed me up is like some poo came out, so guys, you really had to Be ready for the man. But I that took, jump was on another level, I whatever. Took before I like, luckily that nurse kind of wrapped it up quick and got it out of there, whatever, because I almost passed out. I was just like, yeah, it's going to be okay. <laughs> I 
I was trying to, I was just trying to block it. I didn't even going. know I did. Like, yeah. They just told me, and I was like, oh, yeah, you know, bad. You know, But so. she told me to push like I was taking a dump, and I was. I think that's what scared me. That's what took me so long because I was like, what do you mean? And it did. Yeah. So I did that, and it came out. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so you know what I mean. Um, that was like a, a um, it was a, a good experience, whatever, because. You know what I mean? She went through without a mess. A lot of people can't do that, whatever. So I was it's, proud of her and stuff like that. And I, I said I never call a week after that. Yeah, because he's like, call yeah. me. I'm like, yeah, I, listen, soft I am not soft. Way. I just act soft with him. Yeah. Just so I could get, you know, what I want. <laughs> yeah. But no, um, it was it was a, a crazy experience. But I'm glad I did it without the um, medicine or epidural because right after I had him, I mean, I just she can walk. Like, she I can was, do whatever she want. I mean, she she got up and you know, what I mean, did her thing. She I didn't want no restrictions or nothing. Right, I didn't have to worry about anything like yeah. any precautions or anything. Just was like, all right, yep. I go home, and whatever. She, and now with this baby, whatever, she already knows she can do it because she already did it before and stuff. So, you yeah. know, what I mean, most likely she's gonna it's gonna be quicker. You know, what I mean, I so. hopefully, hopefully this one is a lot quicker. But this is the last thing I'm gonna say. This is what, for you new moms, this is what they did not tell me the first time. They never told me about the afterbirth. They always talk about getting ready before. So let me help you out with the afterbirth, because that part was crazy to me. So when I did get up for the first, I had to wait a few hours, probably like two hours before I could get up out of the bed. As soon as I got up, there was nothing but blood. blood. And she, the lady told me, she was like, when you get up, you're gonna feel all this blood coming out. Music All of that came down. I was like, kind of like, what the hell? And then I had to go in the bathroom. She said, more is going to come out. And she was just prepping me on what was to come. And I did not know all of those things was going to happen. I thought I was going to get, you know, the blood later, you know. But all that stuff happened then. And it lasts for like, for me, it lasts for about two weeks of just labor blood. Not like a regular, you know, the regular cycle that we have. Just the labor one. They gave me like, like kind of like diapers and stuff like that. It was yeah. crazy. Yep. And then just it was just I don't know. Right. I'm not gonna get into that. Ain't that video, yeah. I'm not gonna get into that. She gonna keep talking, whatever. So yeah, this you is guys my life comment, comment, dies. message you know me. I, mean? I can help you out with that part yeah. and get more into detail because it's a lot of the afterbirth that I want you guys to know about and you know have things ready for that. Yeah. So we out, y'all. Give you know, thank you all for watching this video. If you got to this point. I need so much I can't count Oh, and I don't need no college Cause I'm getting stupid amounts, Hey. You came out, man, I'm sorry <laughs> Daddy messed up I thought I had your whole videotape You coming out Oh, uh, it's okay We got some Dang But we Say got hi. some of it Before you came out, so Oh, you didn't get all that screaming. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> See, I didn't scream that much with Tom, remember? I only screamed one time. Yeah, I wish I could have seen that so I can't really compare it, but... Oh, I uh, remember. So, I'm sorry, Malachi. Hey, we got... At least we got some of it or whatever, but the tape went out, so... When you see this when you get older, apologize. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Artlist.io